Hello everyone, and my name is Kaylee, and after reading Unit 5, the topic that most interested me was anxiety. Now what is anxiety? Anxiety is a feeling of worry or nervousness, and a lot of people have anxiety, and I actually have it right now talking. Many, many people suffer from anxiety. It's very saddening. So why I chose to talk about anxiety was because it's actually really inspiring to me because I have it and I had it when I was in elementary school. That's when it, where it all started. I was in the third grade and whether it be a spelling test or um, like those problems where you race to get your math done, I would constantly stress. There was times where I would actually break down crying run to the bathroom, throw up. It got to the point where it was very, very bad. But my teacher was absolutely awesome. She was so supportive. And now, like I said, I still have it. Like it consumes my life. I worry about everything, everything and anything. I worry about what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. It's little things like that. When I was in third grade though, when it came to a spelling test, I would freeze up. Where some kids have anxiety and they don't get anxiety when it comes to performing on a test. My teacher though, like I said, she was very encouraging and supportive. And still to this day, we talk about it because now her son is actually suffering from it and just had an episode recently of the throwing up before the test. So it's nice that we can relate back and talk about it together. I still to this day have anxiety. So I had it through elementary school and my teachers were always very supportive. And when it came to middle school, there was groups. There was groups for anger, all sorts of different types of groups. And my teachers recognized that I had anxiety. So one of them asked, my parents and me if I would be interested in joining some kind of group with the counselor and we met like once or twice a week and we would talk about different things and do different activities but it was nice to know that I wasn't alone that other kids suffered from it also and one activity that I remember from this day was making stress balls so for this video I made a stress ball earlier this week to show you guys. And it is just simple Play-Doh and a couple balloons and you cut them. And when we made these, I still remember to this day because they were awesome. If I had one of these during a test, I would just clench down on it. And it was never a distraction to me. Now let's get to the accurate information. All students at some point experience anxiety. But like I said earlier, some it phases in different scenarios, whether it be tests or what's happening next. How am I getting home from school? But it does impair motivational and academic performance, performance extremely. Anxiety is a worry that will not go away. It's just something that sticks in your brain and you worry about it constantly. It's a worry that you worry about. Now let's get to the symptoms that come along with anxiety. It could be nervousness. It could be stuttering. It could be sweaty palms. It could be any of those. Or it could be breathing heavily, increased heart rate. Now, I stated earlier that I started to get anxiety in the third grade. And after reading, um, the, the information that I was given says that when you get anxiety, it's most common in school-aged children and adolescents. I spoke with a lady this morning and her son has some issues and they recently just doctored out in Seattle and he was diagnosed with the anxiety. And the doctor said, that most times children get it between nine and 10 years old. 
So I was kind of eight to nine, year, nine years old when I got it. Girls are more likely to have anxiety. But like I stated earlier, that group I, jo I was in, middle school, it was both boys and girls. So that was kind of cool to know that it's not just girls who have it. They might be more likely to have it, but boys also suffer from anxiety and even test anxiety. It's not just girls. Both boys and girls become anxious for multiple reasons. Sometimes it could be that we try to please people too often. And sometimes we think we just aren't good enough. You need to remember that you are good enough. They're not thinking anything bad about you. Teachers try to help to reduce the anxiety. They're very supportive and encouraging. There's relax relaxation techniques out there, such as deep breathing skills or making things to help cope with your anxiety. But before we conclude, I printed off this brochure today and it says, anxiety presents itself in many different ways. It says the desire to control people and events, difficulty getting to sleep, feeling agitated or angry, having high expectations for self, including school and work, avoiding activities or events such as some days kids don't even wanna to go to school because their anxiety is just that bad. Pain like stomach aches and headaches, struggling to pay attention and focus, and that's a big one in school. When you have anxiety, it is so hard. Intolerance of uncertainty. So my conclusion for you guys is to, if you have anxiety, talk to someone, join a group, write down your feelings. If you can take anything from this video today, just please know that you are not alone. Thank you.